Hmm. Horst has already left. The scolding that Berger gave them yesterday about their lack of results in tracking down the Gorons really got to him. All those books. Only Horst could cut about works of anthropology beyond the frontiers of the known world. The march of science knows no bounds for him. I ought to bring all the equipment together before I take my bag. Must remember to fill it up before I leave the camp. These biscuits don't compare with all Gustav's cooking, but at least they fill you up. No chance of me venturing into the mountain without that. Hope I can get back to sketching the valley. But with Berger putting on the pressure at the moment, I doubt it. The letters I got from Dana before leaving Kantar with the expedition. It's tough not to be able to receive or give any news since leaving civilization. I'm so glad Junta lent it to me. I was able to take wonderful pictures behind Berger's back. Better get going before. You know what time it is. Time to be heading out? Enough! You couldn't care less whether we find the Gorons or not, could you? Well, mark my words, Cobatis. You'd better change your bloody attitude. The day's only just bloody breaking. I couldn't give a damn. Everyone has already started except you. So you just get your butt upstream and help Sauer carry out his research. The idiot is capable of getting himself lost again. All right, all right. I'm not your enemy, you know. I... I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation, Leon. If we don't find a specimen of the Goron, the brown shadow will... Look, just go find Sauer. Please. Now! Poor animal. Berger's gone out of his mind with this search for the abominable snowman of his. Look, can't you see I'm busy? The mountain's dangerous and we're prepared for the worst. I only hope we don't have to use it. Not what you'd call cute, this Gorun. Just as well they haven't found it yet. Can't have been easy for Bauer to leave his daughter just after she was born. This medal must belong to Bauer. He Bauer's daughter. I sometimes forget I'm not the only one who left behind someone dear back across the mountains. I hope you're not thinking of going inside my tent, Cobatis. Hmm. No one here. Bauer and Iega must have already taken off in search of the Gorun.
Hager and Bauer have been a bit heavy-handed with the alcohol these past few evenings. Morale of the troops is at an all-time low. Where on earth can the bloody creature be holed up? Better get going. Autumn is here. We'd better leave the mountain soon, or we won't survive. Autumn is here. We'd better leave the mountain soon, or we won't survive. should be able to catch up with Horst by following the road along the river. Anyone there? Looks like someone's left their gear over there. Better check it out. Stopping to read in the middle of the wilds. That sour all over. One of us must have stayed here. For a rest, maybe? Whoever it belongs to must have left in a hurry to have left it behind. One of the scientists must have stopped for a rest here. Most probably sour. But what made him leave in such a hurry that he left behind all his gear? I'd better have a look around to find... What on earth is that? Mark must be what caused Sour to stop and rest for a while. I'd better have. What on earth is that? That mark must be what caused Sour to stop and rest for a while. I'd better head out and try to find him to clarify the situation. What in God's name is that? I was taking a break near the path. Hurry, we must go fetch the others. You go, he looks injured. I'd better stay and try and reach him before the current carries him away. Right, Leon. Okay. But don't lose him. All right, little fella. Don't move. I'm coming to get you. Current's too strong to swim across. Better find another way. Uh, 
bad idea. Leon, now's not the time to get a dunking. Take it easy. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to look at your wound. Um, what can I give him to show I mean no ill? There you go. Good boy. It's all right. Don't be afraid. You're all right, fella. Good boy. Eat up, fella. Good, isn't it? Leg broken. I just want to look at it, all right? Look, little fella, if you let me see your wound, you can have another biscuit later, yes? It's broken, all right. It must be very painful. You're a brave boy. If I could clean the wound and brace your leg, we should be able to get you back to camp and make it better. Hold on. I'll be right back. Just be patient, little fellow. I'll be right back.
They should do fine to hold the Goran's splint together. They're straight enough to help get the Gorun back to camp. That mark, judging by the shape, must have been made by the Gorun, probably before he got injured. I wonder what it means. Here we go, fella. This is going to sting a little. It wasn't so bad, was it? Now we just need to find a way to get you back across. you do that, little fella? Well, <laughs> better drawing than talking, huh? Now we just have to wait for the others. <laughs> huh? Oh! You want another biscuit? <laughs> you learn quick. It was a young specimen, my darling Dana. Almost like a child. And as soon as we made eye contact, I knew this was a creature endowed with reason. When my companions joined me, I immediately sensed we did not share the same point of view. They seemed blinded by the discovery. They couldn't see the individual. It was clear the young Goran wasn't a person in their eyes, just a subject for study. In their excitement, they seemed to lose all common sense. <laughs> oh. 
What is wrong with it? Fruit. Have some fruit. You <laughs> shut him up in a cage. What do you expect? He's frightened. Shut it up, or I'm going to gag it. <laughs> Must be the Gorn's mother. If we give it back, she'll probably leave. And deprive us of an adult specimen? Are you mad? All right, Mama. Look at the size of her burger. Wound her. Then we'll never get her back alive. Who said we needed her alive? They can't all be live specimens, can they? No! But I couldn't let you shoot them. Why not? You all right? But he... he's killed Burger. Bauer, wait. Y you saw. It was an accident. He was going to kill the Gorin, sir. So I, I... I had no intention to... Shut it, assassin! Oh dear lord, Berger, I'm sorry. I never meant to. I know what dangers await me in the mountain if I manage to escape from here. But whatever happens, it can't be worse than what Bauer and the others have in store for me. So I have no choice. I'll bring him some soup. We can't let him starve to death. Bastard doesn't deserve food. Typical horse, eh? Always the good Samaritan. Aren't you afraid I was going to run for it? 
They intend to hand you over to the authorities in Kantar for the murder of Reinhard Berger. Convenient for them. Well, that's not how it's going to be. I don't agree with what you did. But you don't deserve what Bauer and Jaeger intend for you. You must pretend to be tied up. Wait for them to fall asleep. Then take your gear and get as far away from here as possible. Hear me? Yes, but what? So there you have the full story, my darling Dana. I don't know what will become of me, where my escape will lead me over the coming weeks, or what my life of a murderer on the run will be like. for you is as strong as ever and that my greatest desire is to hold you in my arms i love you more than anything in the world leon your alpine lover dana oh my goodness dana what's wrong puppet lena come quick Dear Diary, so much has happened since I received Leon's letter a few days ago. I'm slowly recovering. Today, Papa and Mama told me that I was going to leave for a while. I'll explain what's going on, but I don't know where to begin. I need to gather my thoughts as I finish packing my suitcase. The medication to treat my cough. Mama is forcing me to take it again since I collapsed after getting Leon's letter. I should pack it. I was planning to give up all my old toys and dolls. But now I guess I'm going to need them in a few years. Dana, there were enough tears already. As I said, dear diary, I'm leaving tomorrow. Papa and Mama are sending me to a sanatorium out of town for a few months. They say it's for continuing my convalescence. In other words, to send me and my secret away from prying eyes. My parents have accepted the offer from their longtime friends, the Zimmers, to pay for my hospitalization at the sanatorium. The Zimmers said it was in the name of their long friendship with Papa and Mama. But I think they feel bad that they can afford to flee Wagen in the Brown Shadow, whereas Mama and Papa can't.
the ideal summer and winter resort in the most picturesque and enchanting spot looking over the River Dombra. Well, let's hope that's true. I'll put you away in there as soon as I'm done, dear diary. Better to keep you safe than risking to lose you where I'm going. Yunta inspired me, I guess. Poor Papa and Mama. They were devastated when the doctor they called after I collapsed discovered my secret. That secret I dared not speak about to anyone. Not even you, dear diary. Now I can tell you. I'm pregnant, dear diary. Leon is the father. There were a lot of tears and screams when the doctor told Papa and Mama. They finally decided to pretend that the baby will be the foster child of a missing relative. I know everyone expects me to feel guilty, but I can't help thinking of names. If it's a boy, of course it'll be Leon. To bring his father good luck. And if it's a girl, I think I'll call her Anna. Well, that should be it. All I need to do now is to conclude my diary entry and hide it somewhere safe with Leon's letter. I'll put you away in there as soon as I'm done, dear diary. Better to keep you safe than risking to lose you where I'm going. I can't believe Leon is on the run, all alone in those mountains in the middle of winter. Now you know everything, dear diary. It is now, I guess, the time to say goodbye for a while. All I can hope now is that Leon will survive winter in those faraway mountains. And that he will find a way to come home and clear his name. We will wait until then, me and the baby.
Me and the baby? Do you still think there might be a family connection between you, Kate Walker? Well, all I know is that my family on my mother's side came from Europe. Well, like a lot of New Yorkers, right? I, I don't know from where exactly, but... And then there's the music box my mother left me, which it turns out plays the Wagen anthem. I mean, it all seems so... so magical. Almost like destinies at play. Or a coincidence, Kate Walker. The law of coincidences states that the more an individual is liable to believe in coincidences, the more coincidences happen to them. But then there's the fact, the fact, Oscar, that everyone keeps telling me Dana and I look so much alike. What do you plan on doing now, Kate Walker? According to the diary, Dana left for a sanatorium outside of town. The records might tell what became of her and her baby. But before we go... There's something that's been bothering me. What is it, Kate Walker? The pogrom that Frau Heigl told us about, the one during which the house and the neighborhood were ransacked, happened in 1938, if I recall correctly. Dana said that she was leaving for the sanatorium for a few months at the end of 1937. Indeed, Kate Walker. So it is very likely she was safe and sound over there when the pogrom occurred. Yes, but what if, what if she was home with her baby? I need to be sure before we leave for the sanitarium, Oscar. We need to search the neighborhood for more evidence. All right, Kate Walker, where you lead, I will follow, as long as you don't forget your bag. Trust me, Oscar, you're the only friend I've got right now. I ain't losing you. Threats, riddled with misspellings and signed, Frank Hoss, that member of the Brown Shadow who had it in for Leon at the refuge. Looks like he never forgave them and was after Dana during the pogrom. Indeed, Kate Walker, but the very existence of this message could mean she wasn't home when those tragic events occurred. Come on, Oscar, we need to find more clues. Anna's initials. So, according to that letter, Dana was supposed to stay at the sanatorium until December 1938. Looks like there were medical complications. That's a good clue, I guess. But I need to find more. I'd better continue searching on the bridge. I am also under the impression there's nothing else to find here, Kate Walker.
Huh. According to that book, the pogrom occurred at the beginning of November 1938. We're getting close, but it's not enough to draw conclusions yet. Ackerman, Fisher, Yorga. I can't find Dana here. In loving memory of all those who lost their lives that terrible night. Keller, Meyer, Ortel. I'm getting close. Dana isn't mentioned here. Otto, Pfeiffer, what if? Anton and Lena Rose, Dana's parents, oh God. They were killed during the pogrom. Is Donna Rose also mentioned? It doesn't look like it, no. But I need to be sure. I think that's it, Oscar. We know that the pogrom occurred at the beginning of November 1938. Dana's parents, Anton and Lena, were killed, that's certain. But Dana was supposed to be at the sanatorium back then. Which seems to be confirmed by that message Herr Hoss left in the house, Kate Walker. Exactly. So I guess we're done here, Oscar. Let's take the tram back to the guest house. We'll try to find that sanitarium first thing tomorrow. So, there she is. The famous Kate Walker. Sorry, what? Donna Rose. I knew her very well, you know. Our Donna, darling. Waiting for the tram, aren't you? Well, we'd be better off speaking at the guest house. I hear there's a storm coming. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Walker. Colonel Blake. Colonel Blake or Fräulein Junta? <laughs> Connecting the dots, are we? You're a very clever young woman. But you must be eager to know why I'm here in front of you, bearing the surname of one of Her Majesty's military officers. <laughs> But here's our tram. Would you be so kind?
So, Miss Walker, you've been rather quiet. I would have thought you'd have some questions for me. No? Why did you change your name? I didn't. I just took it back. You see, I was born and raised in London. My parents were diplomats from Austria. Janet Blake was always my real name. And how did you become a British military officer? It doesn't sound like the usual career path for a famous artist. <laughs> Very true indeed, Miss Walker. But I actually have been both during my lifetime. The British Secret Service hired me as soon as they heard I was going to work close to the brown shadow in Ostertal. Uh, back in the 30s, that was, just before I met Dana at the refuge. So you were some kind of double agent? You make it sound more romantic than it really was, miss. But yes, I guess one could say so. You mentioned the guest house. Are you that other guest I heard about? Indeed, Miss Walker. It's actually Frau Wagner who told me about you. When she told me that you were looking for Dana, I knew I had to talk to you. Frau Wagner told me to call the Academy, which I did, and the Rector then redirected me towards the Bridge of Mists. And that's how I ended up wandering up and down it, asking about a mysterious American woman with a painting. I guess you have new information about Dana for me? I might very well indeed, Miss Walker, but what if you told me first what that little investigation of yours has dug up about Dana? I discovered today that Dana became pregnant that summer of 37. Leon was the father. So her parents decided to hide her in a sanatorium outside town. Which, I assume, saved her from the night of the brown shadow pogroms in Wagen. You assume right, but her parents, on the other hand. Yes, I heard they didn't make it. Poor bastards, if you'll pardon my French. I know Dana was very concerned about Leon being on the run after the death of that scientist, Herr Berger. I, I can't blame her. How could he survive through the winter all alone in the mountains in a strange country? How could he? That's exactly the right question, Miss Walker. That origin expedition in Baltayar. What a mess that was. So, that's basically all I know. Can you tell me what happened to Dana after she left for the sanatorium to have her baby? I must confess, Miss Walker, that I was afraid you might overlook some of the painful information here, which is clearly the case. What do you mean? I... look, I think it would be best if we stay in this carriage until the very end. I know it is an odd request to make, but you really must see this for yourself. Well, I... Until then, I recommend you look outside the window. I guarantee it'll be worth your while.
I'm sorry, Miss Walker, but chasing you around that bridge was more exhausting than I thought. That's okay. I can wait. Ah, nonsense. I know how eager you are to find out about Dana. So you go first. I'll meet you at Section 08. I'll come meet you there. Can't you just tell me what we're doing here? I know it must seem cruel, speaking in riddles and keeping up all this mystery like a bloody fortune teller. But I promise, you must see for yourself. Okay then. And don't forget, miss. Section 08. Find it, and I'll meet you there. Oof. Cold as hell here. Do I get myself into these situations? These ruins, they look like they're from the Middle Ages or something. There's something sinister about all this. Have no fear, Kate Walker. The sun's setting, and you're all alone in an isolated and derelict place. Statistically speaking, it is highly improbable that you'll meet anybody, good or bad. Thank you, Oscar, but please do me a favor. Stop trying to reassure me, would you? As you wish. This gives me the creeps. Looks like... Oh, jeez. What is it, Kate Walker? This place, it's... It's a cemetery, Oscar. I think Dana's... Oh my god, she must have... Don't jump to hasty conclusions yet, Kate Walker. You should try and find that spot that Colonel Blake mentioned. S Section 08 is over there. I don't have time to get lost in that maze. I'm gonna need you to be my eyes, Oscar. Will do. Just call me whenever you need directions. Section D. I need help here! Hmm. Just leave me a second. The 
undertakers must store their tools in it. It needs a key. But it doesn't look that strong, though. Section G. Section K. Illegible. Section M. Section O. That's it. Anna Rose, 1938, gone to a better place. Oh no. What? What happened? Dana's health had deteriorated at the Santorium. Her coughing fits, the pregnancy, and all the stress about Leon being on the run out there in Baltayar. It was just too much for her to bear. The doctors had to put her to sleep before her delivery. There were complications, and when she woke up, her parents told her the terrible news. They had already buried the baby girl. And afterwards? Dana became sterile because of the complications during childbirth. So she remained at the sanatorium a few months more. She was devastated, poor darling. That's how she survived the pogroms. Yes, but that didn't mean she was safe. How come the Brown Shadow didn't go after Dana? They controlled Ostertal back then, right? Oh, they would have eventually, believe me. So what happened afterwards? Dana lost everything. Her parents, her baby, Leon. I think she would have just given up if I hadn't been there that day. But I had to go to London. Back then, I used to get invited every year or so to all kinds of artistic events. I could then make out my report to the British Secret Service without arousing the Brown Shadow's suspicion. So I took Dana with me to save her from them.
Donna stayed in London for about six years. I found her a flat and a position with my real employer, the Foreign Office. She had no family, no friends, and in a way, she had no life. She spent every minute she had in the office fighting in her own way against those who took everything from her. She went from one promotion to another, and soon she was among those in charge of coordinating all the resistance fighter groups pertaining to the different occupied countries of Europe. Dana, focus. The Admiralty needs us to spot the enemy units on the map according to the reports they provided.
If I follow the instructions on the reports correctly, I should be able to place all the units mentioned. I made a mistake on the map. That's it, I guess. Anna, darling, you can use my real name here, you know. Sorry, but I just can't get used to it. For me, you'll always be Ginger Yunta. Charming. I'm sure I have Lenny to thank for that, hmm? You were always too soft on that little brat. Oh, give her a break. What are you doing here? I'm so glad to see you. Only doing my duty, Dana, darling. A gallery invited me for a conference, so I jumped at the occasion to report back to our superiors. But it might be the last time for a while, I'm afraid. It's getting very hard to leave the occupied territories, even for a famous so-called pro-brown shadow artist like me. Anyway, how have you been since my last visit? With Leon being missing, and probably lying dead somewhere in Baltea for the past seven years, and what happened to my parents, you know how I feel. But... but it's all beginning to feel like... like a dream, Junta. A distant dream. Especially... her. And I don't want it to... you know... I don't want her, my sweet Anna. To just fade away. I... I'm sorry, Yunta, but could we please change the subject? Of course, darling. What is it? More work for you, actually. Oh? Yes. The Allies need someone for an operation with the Resistance in occupied territory. And they think it should be you. But truth be told, Dana, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Why not? I did volunteer for field operations. They've trained me a lot for that. I know, Dana, but this operation will happen in Ostertal, right next to Vargen, actually. I see. Look, you don't need to answer me this minute. And no one would blame you if you declined the mission. We all know you don't only have happy memories of Vargen. You still have time to think it over. 
But before you give your final answer, they need you to identify the resistance group that will execute the operation. It's all explained here. And of course it's all top secret stuff. So you must cross-reference the documents right here in this room. You'll have to use that thing over there. But I don't know how to use it. I'm sure that's easy for you. You have such a clever mind, my little virtuoso. I'll see you later. Well, let's get cracking then. From what I can understand of that... thing, the pressure must be high in the left tube, but low in the right one. Compressed air. I think I need to get the mixture right, paying close attention to the rarefied air. Silly me. Can't be it. Better try something else.
doesn't fit in with what Yunta said. Can't be that underground network. No, it can't be this under- The information doesn't tally with what Yunta said. No, doesn't make sense. Not this one either. Can't be that underground network. No, it can't be this underground- The information doesn't tally with what Yunta said. No, doesn't make sense. Doesn't fit in with what Yunta said. The information doesn't tally with what Yunta. No, it can't be this. Up no, doesn't make sense. Can't be that underground network. Edelweiss? A coincidence. It must be a coincidence. The network leader's alias. Uh, come here now, my pretty Edelweiss. Don't call me that, you know I don't like it. It's true, though. That's exactly where you are, my pretty Edelweiss. If you keep that up, Leon Kobatis, I'll find you a nickname, too. <laughs> Go on, then. All right. Your nickname will be Alpine Lover from now on. Leon! He's alive. He's alive! He's alive! I need to... Oh, good grief. But how did he... Yunta! Yunta! So Leon made it from Baltayar, but how? I have no idea, miss. All I know is that he survived for almost a year in the mountains before coming back to Ostertal to set up the Edelweiss resistance group. Which made Dana accept the mission you told her about back then, right? Of course, she was given extra training and was dropped near Vargen the following summer to carry it out. Hmm. We'd better get going. It looks like the storm is coming. You go first. Uh, uh, I'll meet you at the tram station in a minute. Of course. Take all the time you need.
So, bye again. I know, Oscar. I know. Obviously, you do not, Kate Walker. I'm afraid you are mistaken. Must have got it wrong. They just closed. Oh, there must be a mechanism to open them somewhere. There always is, Kate Walker. It needs a key. But the Undertakers must store their tools in it. some of the names here. Pretty interesting. But I should get back to what I was doing. Seems so old. This place must be centuries old. Can you bring that pickaxe closer, Oscar? Of course, Kate Walker. Looks like it's compatible with a bigger mechanism.
You seem disappointed, Kate Walker. About what? Well, correct me if I am wrong, but the fact that Dana Rose lost her baby and became sterile disproves your hypothesis that there can be a family link between you, doesn't it? You're not wrong, Oscar, but I'm just stupidly over-optimistic. I wish I were like you, and not controlled by stupid emotions. Nice of you to say, uh, I guess. Um, sorry. Uh, are you all right, Miss Walker? This must have been quite a shock for you, wasn't it? Let's take the tram back to the guest house, Miss Walker. What about that mission Dana led with Leon's Resistance Network? It didn't turn out well, Miss Walker. Actually, that's the reason I left London to be here. Oh? Yes. Uh, just a second, Miss Walker. Where did I put it? What with this blasted storm? It's all over the papers. Here, have a look for yourself. Storm. Excavation work at Devil's Pass has been interrupted. An unexpected storm has obliged the Council to remove the bodies trapped in the ice since the Second World War and to move them to the Silberspiegel Refuge. Those frozen bodies near the refuge? I heard about them just yesterday. Do you mean... There has been no formal identification yet, Miss Walker. But it's plausible that... That Leon, at least, is among those bodies, yes. Do you think Dana could be among the bodies? I suppose it would be logical. It would explain why I never saw or heard of her again after the mission. Yet, according to some witnesses, Dana survived the war and indeed helped resistance fighters from Wagen until the liberation. But if those testimonies were true, then Dana vanished after the war. What happened to Leon? According to the testimonies I've obtained, Leon was killed on that mission. The Foreign Office tasked Dana to lead, an avalanche apparently. 
I am one of the few people still alive to be able to identify him, which is why I'm here. If it weren't for this bloody storm, it would have been done today. What about the other bodies? According to the medical examiner's office, in all, three bodies have been extracted from the ice. The one presumed to be Leon, and two others, a man and a woman not yet identified. I see. Try to stay positive, Miss Walker. Only a visual identification will allow us to be certain. We can go as soon as this storm's over, probably tomorrow or the day after. Right. Miss Walker, we've arrived. But you're not coming, are you? Well, Miss Walker, you might not be related to Dana, but you bloody well certainly remind me of her. Instead of waiting for the storm to pass, and for the official identification of the bodies, bodies, I might add, that were trapped in the ice for six decades, you, and by extension, me, are going to climb up the mountain so you can identify them yourself. I know, Oscar, I know. But I've just got to be sure. Because if one of those bodies turns out to be Dana, I... I... We'll have no more trains to chase?
Looks like it's holding up, despite the storm. I don't think it's cold enough for fuel to freeze, but maybe someone should store it inside, just in case. No one here? It's not that late. I'd have thought Demoiselle Lenny would still be up. I believe that old people retire early, don't they? Demoiselle Lenny had tea with someone. Maybe with that alpinist guy. Another one of those cigars. A photo of Leon on a ship. Must have been taken during his return from Baltayar. But I still can't figure out how he survived the winter while he was on the run over there. Lenny also had that newspaper. There's something truly odd going on with Demoiselle Lenny. I really ought to have a little chat with her. But before, the bodies. They are all that count right now. I was hoping to find Demoiselle Lenny here. No time to explore the refuge again. I need to find the frozen bodies. Frozen bodies from the Devil's Pass. The forensic team had to bring them up here because of the blizzard. But their generator shut off. I'm concerned it could damage the bodies. Where's Demoiselle Lenny? Oh, in her room, resting. She she collapsed right after the forensic team left for Wagen. Jeez, what happened? I'm pretty sure it has to do with the bodies. I mean, she was staring down in that direction for, well, all the time, and then when they brought them up from the Devil's Pass, it was like, like she had seen a ghost or something. It was almost as if... As if she knew the departed. What? Is someone taking care of her? Oh, yes, don't worry. She is with that hermit who brings her wood and provisions sometimes. Okay, in that case, you go back inside. I'll take care of the generator. Are you sure? Positive, just go, go on. I need to check something in the tent anyway. Somebody's put the cap back. Oh, the mechanism is blocking it.
Lenny's left her lookout post. Hardly surprising with this blizzard. No time to explore the refuge again. I need to find the frozen bodies. Another one of those demos Eleni had tea with someone. Maybe with that alpinist guy. Too small for a door. The gas tank's empty. I better find some fuel so I can turn on the generator. Didn't you come across a jerry can earlier? Better go check it out. Yes! Thanks, Oscar! Better try something else. No, I don't think so. They must have carried Demoiselle Lenny to her room after she collapsed. Looks like I can change its shape. They must have carried Demoiselle Lenny to her room after she collapsed. Wrong one. Looks like I can change its shape.
doesn't work. Impossible. No time to explore the refuge again. I need to find the frozen bodies. The bodies are in that tent, outside. They must have carried Demoiselle Lenny to her room after she collapsed. Look, Oscar! A distant cousin! Um, what are you talking about, Kate Walker? And why are you laughing? I hope the key we found opens the storage box on the generator. You'll just have to try it, Kate Walker. Like I can change its shape. No, I don't think so. I better try something else. The key we found opens the storage box on the generator. You'll just have to try it, Kate Walker. Got the tank all filled. Now I just need to start the generator.
biscuits. Wonder how long they've been there. Ah, nothing. <sighs> Speak to me, Oscar. This button must have turned on the generator, Kate Walker. But you still need to use the starter. Okay. Thanks, Oscar. something. Like the rescuers left in a hurry after they moved the bodies here. Must have been surprised by the blizzard. Forensics Institute of Wagen. Hmm. That's not Dana in this body bag. Leon. It's as if he died yesterday. Like in those stories where people are found perfectly preserved in ice for decades after being carried away by an avalanche. <sighs> Hard to believe he's been dead for over 60 years. That's quite amazing. And grim at the same time. Unidentified blonde woman in her 40s. That can't be Dana. That's it, Oscar. Dana's body is not among those found with Leon's. Oh, what a relief. Now that that's cleared up, Kate Walker, maybe we should take shelter within somewhat more solid premises. Right. We should go and check on Demoiselle Lenny in the refuge. I have a lot of new questions for her. the opposite, Oscar. Sir? Are you there? What have we got here?
this portrait, it looks like Leon. Style reminds me of that other portrait of him that he described in his letter from Baltayar. The one made by the... Dana. The Gorun. No, not Dana. She's old, like me. I'm Kate. Kate Walker. Kate... Walker? Yes. And you are... You're the one that Leon saved during the Origin Expedition a long time ago, aren't you? Yes. The Gorin from Baltayar. Well... You've come a long way, Mr... Ludwig. Ludwig Hardtack. Well, Mr. Ludwig, if you don't mind my asking, what happened when you and Leon returned to Ostertal to join the Resistance fighters? And how did you meet Dana? Leon, my brother. These drawings, they're moments from your life, aren't they? Hmm. Looks like a river. And that little figure looks wounded. Is that you when you met Leon and the scientist from the Origin Expedition? Yes. That person in the middle of the others was in the other paintings. That's Leon, isn't it? Yes. Leon. That group, is it your tribe, Mr. Ludwig? Yeah. So you all live together in a cave in Baltayar? Right. So you and your tribe took Leon in after the death of Reinhard Berger in 1937. That's how he was able to survive the winter in the mountains. Then you went with Leon when he decided to return to Wagen to join the resistance fighters? Mm -hmm. These combat scenes, are they of the liberation of Wagen? Before, during resistance. Had Dana already joined the resistance operation by that time? I mean, by the time shown in the drawing. No, later. The blonde girl with you and Leon can't be Lenny, right? Yes. Lenny, my sister. I knew Lenny was a resistance fighter, but she never told me she fought alongside Leon, let alone you. She even went as far as saying that she never saw Leon again after 1937. When they all met at the refuge with Dana. Why would she hide something so important? Time to check on Lenny. Come, Kate 
Walker. The sketchbook? I think it was Leon's. It's locked. Ah, Fraulein. I knew you would be back eventually. Judging by your face, you and Ludwig already met. We have. And it raised a lot of questions about you. About what you said to me the first time we met, and about what you didn't say. Of course. You can run from your past, but never truly escape it. <laughs> but you already know that. Don't you, Fraulein? I want to understand Demoiselle Lenny. I'd like to understand why you didn't tell me about Leon's death, about fighting with him in the Resistance, and about the Gore, and about Mr. Ludwig. It would have saved us both so much time and effort. Because it would have only begged questions. Questions which lead to events that I've never spoken about to anyone. Not even to you, dear Ludwig. Lenny. Still, I suppose it... It doesn't matter now. Perhaps it's time I confess my crime. What are you talking about? It was the best years of my life. Joining the Resistance. Unlike my coward of a father, and fighting alongside Leon after he miraculously got back from Baltaya with Ludwig, it gave me purpose. Leon was a terrific leader. I could feel he was finally taking me seriously, especially with Dana being missing. I knew he was still in love. After all, didn't he cross the globe to rescue her? But we all thought he arrived too late, that Dana had died with her parents during the pogroms. So, I believed his mourning would eventually come to an end. And that's when Dana fell from the sky, literally. Dana was sent by London, right? To oversee that operation led by your resistance network? The exfiltration of a civilian to Switzerland. I recall correctly. Indeed. 
but Leon never told us that Dana was involved. Maybe he was afraid to believe it himself. should have seen them, Fraulein. It was as if they had never left each other. Do you know if... if Dana ever mentioned a child? Maybe they were planning to have one in Baltaya. Who knows? In Baltaya? Yes. That's all they ever talked about. How they were going to live over there after the war, along with Ludwig and his tribe. But it was to be just another broken dream. Right. I should call London now. My radio's downstairs. Judging by these installations, Leon's network seems particularly well organized. Pity the same can't be said. May I? Two brothers and sisters in arms. You can sense that the three of them stand together as one. Lenny and the Gorun seem close. It's nice that she's found a friend. Not that Herr Gustav lacked affection for her, but she spent too much time alone in that refuge. The Gorun described Leon as his brother. They must have shared lots of adventures together since Leon saved him from the clutches of Herberger. Your drawings are beautiful. For you, Dana Rose. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Ludwig. It's almost as if you were there with us that night. Leon told me. Did he speak about me? 
all the time. I should go now. Talk to you later, Mr. Ludwig. Mm -hmm. oh, it looks like Leon and me in this drawing. The Goron must have drawn it from Leon's accounts of us. This part of the radio is used to receive messages. I need my documents so I can find the right setting. They're in a side pocket of my bag. Empty. Nothing. I should turn the radio on first. This part of the radio is used to transmit messages. This part of the radio is used to transmit messages. Lenny! Hmm? What do you want? It's amazing how you've grown. How have you been since last time? Fine, I guess. I found out that the refuge was closed down by the Brown Shadow a few years ago. Turns out your network did the best of it. But... What about Herr Gustav? Is he... Dead? No, he's not dead. Although, for me, he might just as well be. It 
It's quite incredible when I think of you and Leon fighting alongside someone who comes from so far away. Yeah. After Leon saved him during the expedition in Baltayar, Mr. Ludwig's tribe took him in during the winter months. They became inseparable, like brothers. So much so that Mr. Ludwig insisted on coming back here with Leon. Now he's our most ferocious fighter, the terror of the brown shadow. See you later, Lenny. Have you called London yet? to stash. I doubt I'll find anything of use there to amplify the radio signal. Herr Gustav's old radio. I remember we spent many an evening listening to Siri. Once this antenna is connected, there must be a way to open it. Looks like there's something wrong with the antenna. There must be something else I can plug into it. There must be something else I can plug into it. That should boost the signal. Perfect. The signal isn't strong enough. I need to find a way of amplifying it. signal isn't strong enough. I need to find a way of amplifying it. This part of the radio is used to receive messages.
The signal isn't strong enough. I need to find a way of amplifying it. The signal isn't strong enough. I need to find a way of amplifying it. I must have made a mistake. is strong enough to reach London now. I need to adjust the frequency settings properly to contact London. I need to adjust the frequency settings properly to contact London. I need to adjust the frequency settings properly to contact London. London, come in. London, do you read me? Over. We've made contact. Package safe and sound. I repeat, we've made contact. Package... Out of the question! I'm not moving from here without her! London, please wait a moment. Over. What's going on? You! Tell London I'm not leaving without my wife. Herr Exner, listen, I... No, you listen. Andrea is my closest collaborator. With regard to the Allied war effort, she is just as important as me. She is in Wagen, as I speak, hiding at some friend's place under a false identity. You must bring her here and smuggle her into Switzerland with me. There's no way we're going back to Wagen. Brown Shadow troops have overrun the entire town. We can't risk delaying our departure. A storm coming. Danger. I'm not moving from here without her. London, did you hear that? Roger that. Over and out. They say we can't allow Frau Exner to be captured and risk her letting the cat out of the bag. What are you waiting for, then? Send someone to fetch her! Hang on! You're not asking me to... Sorry, Lenny, we haven't got a choice. Ludwig can't go about in public in Wagen, and I have to prepare everything to get them through Devil's Pass tomorrow. You're the only one I trust enough to... Why can't she go?
I understand you're angry, Lenny, but that's not in my orders. My mission consists of protecting Herr Exner at all cost. I can't just leave him here and go off to Wagen. Dan is right, Lenny. And besides... And besides, it's too dangerous. Leon! All right, then. I'll go. Lenny, wait! Leon's reaction and his unconditional love for Dana drove me mad with rage. So I decided to take my revenge by making a detour. It was a detour I would regret for the rest of my life. No one was supposed to have gotten hurt, I promise. I promise, Fraulein. I just didn't want Leon to leave me forever. To leave with her. But it was a fool's bargain. As I should have known from the beginning. more than anything in the world. Come on! 
Let's go! Ironic, isn't it? But the worst was yet to come. Leon to lead the civilians to the foot of Devil's Path. Ludwig has been searching for Leon's remains since then. But it took the thaw due to global warming to uncover the bodies. And with them, my crime. Precisely when you decided to show up, Fraulein. Lenny. Dear Ludwig, can you ever <sighs> for... <sighs> Mr. Ludwig, please! Don't, Fraulein. I deserve this. Let's get this over with, Fraulein. Let me tell you about the last time I ever saw Dana, and then I'll be done. Okay, I'm listening. It was a year after Leon died, just after the liberation of Vargan.
The little Vagaran Scourge. Hm. Still clinging on like fleas on a rat, I see. <laughs> oh, I was so disappointed I didn't bump into you when we sacked your parents' house. Hm. Before we threw them in the Dombra River. <laughs> Run, rabbit! Run! Cause we'll soon be back to finish off scum like you! Since the liberation, everyone in Wagen seems to be looking for someone. Herr Sauer? Oh, Fräulein Dunner. What are you doing here? Well, unlike my former colleagues of the Origin Expedition, I refuse to be hired by the Allies. So... By the same chalk, I turned down immunity. Why would you do that? Well... All I've ever wanted to do in life is to carry out my anthropological research. But if there's one thing I learned in Baltaya, it's that it can't be done by serving the designs of this or that superpower. Not even momentarily. I've had enough of prostituting science. So, I've given myself up to be judged for accepting to be financed by the Brown Shadow. I see. I'm... sorry about Leon, Fräulein Dana. I know you were close. He, uh... Used to talk about you all the time. I'm sorry. I was rather... rather harsh toward him last time we met. He was a good man. I miss him. His integrity. I miss him too. Hezawa? Yes, Fräulein Dana? Thank you for passing Leon's letter on to me about what happened in Baltea like you promised you would, despite your own grief. It's proof that you're a man of honor. I wish you well now. Goodness me, it's you, Dana. Herr Gustav? Wish it was still a music academy, eh? Allied HQ now, you know. Yes. I just visited Lenny. That's why I've come too. I wanted to see her before I leave. How is she? Surviving, I suppose. The Allies are taking care of her here in the infirmary. Thank goodness. Special treatment for her exploits in the Resistance. But uh, it's unlikely she'll ever walk again, though. I'm so sorry for what happened to her. I let Leon die alone, and I couldn't even help Lenny when she got hit during the assault on the refuge. I understand you, my lovely. I do. But 
don't blame yourself, eh? Regrets, we all have a few. And some, more than others. Especially in times of war, Dana. It's the way of the world. We just have to move on best we can. Maybe if we could all just let the water flow under the bridge, the swans will come back and we'll all be able to live together again. Like we used to. Would be good, if it's at all possible. And Lenny? I promise to take good care of her. For the rest of my life. I lost my little girl once. I'm not losing her again. I'll take up my job at the refuge. And I'll adapt it to her handicap. See? That's nice. Is everything okay, Dana? Where were you during the occupation? Lenny never mentioned it. If you want to know, I, uh, was cleared by the military court, Dana. It might well have something to do with the fact that I'm the father of a heroine. But all the same, I was cleared of any wrongdoing, you see. Oh, I see. I see very well, Herr Gustav. You have a good day now. That's it. I'm definitely done with everybody here. I should go and talk to Lenny in the infirmary now. Hello, Lenny. I have to leave, Lenny. Every new day in Wagen is like another agony for me since Leon died. I can't face being here anymore. Not now that the town is freed. So, I've decided to leave for America. I'm going to try to start life over. I don't know if I'll do any better in the United States, but I'll have more of a chance of getting by there than here. I'm not abandoning you, Lenny. Ludwig's staying to help you find Leon's body in the mountain. And I'll write to you, often. I won't forget you. I'm so sorry. So Dana, she... She never knew what you did? Indeed. So, did she write to you like she promised? From the United States? Yes, she did. For the next 40 years. She's still alive, then? Can't say for sure, but there's a good chance. Can you explain? No. I've had enough of explaining. Explaining to myself. All I want now is to find some peace far away from guilt and loneliness. I'm going to rest now. It's not too late to forgive yourself. Wouldn't know how, even if I wanted to. 
You won't know until you try. <laughs> Thank you, Fraulein. You'll find the last letter I received from Dana in my automaton. It will give you the answers you're looking for. Thank you. It's not the proper setting of the key. Impossible. Better try something else. to control this body now, Oscar. Let's work together to unlock it and find that letter from Dana. Things stuck. This lock. I think I need to slide the small moving part nearby in order to unlock it. Maybe I could ask for Oscar's help if I get stuck. Things stuck. lock. I think I need to slide the small moving part nearby in order to unlock it. Maybe I could ask for Oscar's help if I get stuck. Ah, a new body. Again. Oh, how basic. Thank you. 
stuck. This lock. I think I need to slide the small moving part nearby in order to unlock it. Maybe I could ask for Oscar's help if I get stuck. No. Things stuck. Thank you. 
things stuck. Won't budge. There must be a way of unblock. Impossible. No, I don't think so. I should be... I think I can turn the crank now. Oh, it won't fit. I must display the key properly. Dana sent this letter 20 years ago to Lenny. Dana Goengrish, Manhattan. Her name changed. May 21st, 1983. 
my dear Eleni. Sorry if I haven't written in a long time. Things haven't been easy for me of late. My husband, William Gerngrich, passed away last summer. He was such a remarkable partner and a tremendous support. But as you know, Lenny, there used to be another world for me. The world before. Our world, Lenny. The world of Leon. I've honored my current contracts. But now I feel I need a change.
It was a nurse who worked at the maternity ward at Baden Sanatorium before the war, when I spent some time there. She had stumbled upon a letter written by her superior. It was a strange confession written by the chief doctor who was present when I went into labor. She claimed that the child I gave birth to on April 5th, 1938 was alive, that they had seized the opportunity of me falling into a coma to give my daughter Anna to a couple of friends of my parents, the Zimmers. Anna is alive, Lenny. You can imagine, my dear Lenny, that I spent the following weeks searching for my daughter high and low. It wasn't that difficult, even though my daughter's names had been changed. I just stood there, watching a woman who seemed to be the center of attention. She looked so confident, joyful, and full of life. She was surrounded by charming friends and a couple of old folks who must have been the Zimmers, her adoptive parents. As I was watching my daughter, it appeared clear to me. I was an intruder in the life of Sarah Walker Zimmer. Mom?
This young woman didn't look like me, and inspired nothing in me either. No emotion, no desire to run to her and take her in my arms. Absolutely nothing. It felt meaningless. I just did what I thought best in such cases. I took a trip into her assumed past, just to make sure there were no regrets. I was just about to leave when I heard piano music coming from upstairs. It stopped me in my tracks. Six little notes, pure, crystalline, that crushed my heart with an incredible violence. I climbed the stairs like an automaton, guided by the music of the hymn of Wagen. The music I was so proud to play on the main square of Wagen, I never played it again after that. their way to the bathroom.
Hands must glide over the keyboard like swans over water. That's what our teachers at Wagen Academy used to say. I hurried out of the house without looking back, and a few days later, I left the United States for the only destination that had any meaning to me. Farewell, my dear Lenny. Dana. Well, I will never understand human emotions. I thought you would be happy to have the proof at last that Dana Rose is your ancestor. I'd totally forgotten that strange old lady who helped me play my piece on Mom's birthday. She was my grandma. Hmm. So, what are we going to do now? I don't know, Oscar. I really don't know. I know I should feel happy to come to the end of this adventure. I found freedom. I kept my promise to Katyusha. And discovered a fascinating part of my mother's past, kept secret until now. But it makes no difference to the guilt I feel over my mom's passing, or the void I feel since her death. Maybe if I had met Dana in person, but that's impossible now. The last trace of Dana I have is this letter, and it's... it's over 20 years old. And besides, Dana implies she left for an unknown destination, like a hiding place, to wait for the end of a life that no longer held any meaning for her. She could be anywhere. That's if she's still alive at all. It would be like looking for a needle in a haystack. So, I don't know, Oscar. I really don't know anymore. There's only one thing left to do, Oscar. What everyone has been expecting me to do since I jumped on the train with Hans. Just be reasonable and return to New York. There's an end to everything, Oscar, isn't there? This ticket will take me to the International Airport of Wagen at my carriage number. I should find a phone to call Olivia before I take the shuttle. 
Given all the trouble waiting for me in New York, I'm gonna need all the help I can get. This is the right carriage, but the door's still shut. Please present your ticket. Looks like this mechanism is connected directly to the door. Please remember you must show your stamp ticket before you can board the train. is not stamped. Please remember, you must show your stamp ticket before you can board the train. A ticket validator. I guess I have to use it to set the day. I'll need some ink before I can stamp it.
The deportation trains left Wagen from this station during the Second World War. How many lives did those brown shadow barbarians destroy? Is there any justice for those who were massacred? Hello? Olivia? It's me. What do you want, Kate? Didn't we say everything last time? You were right, Olivia. I've been chasing moonbeams ever since my mom died. But I found my grandmother. Your grandmother? But, Kate, she died years ago in New York. No, I mean my real grandmother. <laughs> Never mind. It's a long story. I'll explain everything when I get back. Oh, you mean... Yes, I'm flying back to New York. That's wonderful, Kate. I better tell Mr. Canton. He's still on your case, you know. The police will probably be waiting for you at the airport, but don't worry. Dan has connections. I'm sure he'll be able to help. Maybe he can persuade Marson and Larman to drop the charges. Okay, thanks. That would be a relief. The I, I gotta go. Uh, the airport shuttle's about to leave. Yes, yes, go ahead. We'll meet you at JFK. I'm proud of you, Kate. You've made the right decision. Olivia? Yes? Listen, I... I'm, I'm truly sorry for everything that's happened since I left New York. It's just that... I just had to get away. I needed a change of life, to be free. It was like a calling. And now that I've been following that calling for the past few years, I realize that I'm not the person I thought I was back in New York. I am that strange person who jumps from train to train, a traveler without a destination, just like that old shaman once called me. What are you talking about? Which shaman? It doesn't matter now. I guess what really counts is that I have no regrets about being my true self over these past years. But do you really? I know, Olivia. I know I've hurt people while going through this... this journey. My mom, Dan, you. I know that. And I'm so sorry, Olivia, for all the hurt I've caused you personally. Thank you, Kate. It does me good to hear it. And, well, you know what? I'm starting to like this new Kate. Listen, I, I'd better go now, Olivia. I'll, I'll call you if I can from the airport once I've got a flight. Yes, yes, you'd better get going. You take care, Kate. Okay, you too. Bye now. Talk later. That's my shuttle. Once it's taken me to the airport, I'll just use the ticket for New York that Olivia sent me, and that'll be the end of my voyage.
So, is this really the end of the journey? Yes, Oscar. Olivia sent me a plane ticket for New York. What if... No, forget it. You look sad, Kate Walker. That's all they ever talked about. How they were going to live over there after the war, along with Ludwig and his tribe. I left the United States for the only destination that had any meaning for me. Farewell, my dear Lenny. The only destination that had any meaning? Kate Walker is everything all... I know where she is, Oscar. I know where Dana went after she left America. The train for the airport is about to depart. All Come on, Oscar, we gotta go. Anyone not going to the airport is kindly asked to leave the train immediately. Lenny's gone. In her sleep. Too much guilt. Too much sorrow. Oh. I took her in the mountain with Leon. They are together now. What about you, Kate Walker? I'm going back home too. In a way. 